Time now for your forewarned weather with Nate Larson. All right, if you're up late enough to capture the sunset last night, gorgeous uh, conditions that we saw across the Wasatch Front. Hardly a cloud in the sky, but there was just enough along with some of the particulates in the air to generate this gorgeous sunset photo. Tammy Budge and Ogden sending this one in. Love all the yellows uh, surrounded or fading into oranges and reds that we saw there. Mark Hemsworth, Iron County, also showing off gorgeous sunset photos uh, from there. A little more smoke and haze visible, even though air quality has been maintaining uh, moderate levels of pollution in Iron and Washington County counties with fires burning east of you. Brighton Resort, beautiful skies. Last night, Michael Bowman out uh, highlighting that with it looks like a hike up in the higher elevations to escape some of these hottest temperatures. We had daily record highs fall in numerous areas across the state in Provo, uh, BYU campus 105. Airport in Salt Lake, the official record that we keep here for Salt Lake City hit 106. Previous record was from 2021 with 104 degrees. City Creek uh, Water Treatment Plant, 98. 103 in Cedar City beat it by a degree. The previous record of 102. Tooele, Mountaindale Dam, 101 in downtown Salt Lake City and Kanab tied the previous record from 1959 of 106 degrees as well. We hit 115 in St. George yesterday. That should have been a record high, right? It probably felt like it, but the all-time record high was yesterday of 117, so we were two degrees shy of that all-time record heat. Uh, Black Desert Sky Camera showing the quiet start that we have in St. George. We're expecting 113 today, which will tie the current record. Brian Hedge showing off some calm weather and some uh, calm skies. We do have fire weather watches in, um, in effect tomorrow for these same areas, areas of Brian Head for some of the central and uh, color country mountain areas as we're expecting some dry thunderstorms to kick up some gusty winds, uh, gusts of 40, 40 miles per hour or slightly stronger due to some potential storms they're gonna be moving through tomorrow afternoon and evening. Walking you through some of the time frame of it, we've got the ridge of high pressure circulating clockwise. It's helping pull up a little bit of moisture. You can kind of see with the models how it puffs uh, the cloud formations showing that a lot of those Storms that might start kind of fizzled out as they do move through a little bit of moisture potential today, but most of it tomorrow for southern Utah into the afternoon with moisture spreading into northern Utah on Sunday could see a stray shower or storm. We've got a slight chance on Sunday for northern Utah with chances of moisture continuing down south with the same pattern sticking around. Now the clouds and some of the ridge shifting east will eventually impact our temperatures, dropping them slightly, but we're still at record high potential for today. 106 on Saturday, which would tie the all-time record for Salt Lake. 101 Sunday, so still very hot, into the upper 90s on Monday and Tuesday. Not quite, of course, near records would be much cooler than that, but still typical for July heat. We expect the sizzling hot temperatures this time of year where low to mid 90s are average highs. So across much of the board, we've got triple digit heat, Logan 102 today, mid 90s in Rock Springs. We've got uh, 101 for Vernal today, 103 forecasted for Bluff. Lake Pallet 109, there's that 113 for St. George. Temperatures drop to 110 tomorrow, not much of a difference, but a slight chance of storms. We'll have a few more clouds. Isolated thunderstorm potential Sunday, Monday. Temperatures at 104, 105, some breezy winds. And then we'll rebound some back to about 108 on Thursday with breezy winds. Slight chance of storms through Wednesday for St. George. From record heat today, tomorrow to 101, we talked about the temperatures sliding into next week. A slight chance of a storm on Sunday for the Wasatch Front, upper 90s and isolated storms Monday, Tuesday. Slight chance on Wednesday, but we're back to the century mark on Thursday with sunshine.